Judges at the Special Immigration Appeals Commission Court, which deals with national security deportations, has ruled today that Qatada won't be deported back to Jordan to face terrorist charges because of concerns that evidence obtained by torture would be used against him. He will be released from Long Martin Prison in Worcestershire tomorrow and must obey a curfew. The government said it would seek to appeal against the ruling. A statement from the Home Office said we have obtained assurances, not just in relation to the treatment of Katada himself, but about the quality of the legal processes that would be followed throughout his trial. We will therefore seek leave to appeal today's decision. So far, the cleric, once described by a judge as Osama bin Laden's right-hand man in Europe, has challenged and avoided every effort by the government over the last 10 years to stand trial in Jordan. He has been subject to lengthy periods of detention since 2001 in the UK, although he has never been charged with a crime in the UK. However, experts say that whoever loses the case is expected to seek a further hearing at the Court of Appeal, although the grounds for an appeal are now likely to be limited. I'm Anne Salter. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the very latest news on the Abu Qatada extradition story with me at ibtimes.co.uk.